Have you ever wondered how to make incredibly tender corned beef? Today we delve into the mystery surrounding this savory dish. Corned beef with its unique flavor profile often tends toward toughness, largely due to the cut's fibrous nature and the curing process. Understanding how to prepare it properly is key to transforming this often chewy meat into a melt-in-your-mouth wonder. So if you're ready to unlock the secret to incredibly tender corned beef, stick around. The key to tender corned beef lies in the ingredients you choose and how you use them. First and foremost, selecting a quality piece of corned beef is paramount. Look for a cut that is bright in color, with ample marbling for the best flavor. Remember, fat equals flavor. And in this case, it also means tenderness. Next, let's talk about the spice mix. While you can buy prepackaged mixes, creating your own blend of mustard seeds, peppercorns, cloves, and bay leaves allows for a personalized touch and a depth of flavor that is truly unrivaled. And let's not forget about the role of water. It's not just a cooking medium, but a vehicle for flavor. The water absorbs the spices and permeates the meat as it cooks, infusing every bite with deliciousness. Lastly, slow cooking is key. It allows the flavors to meld together and the meat to become fall apart tender. Now that we've gathered our ingredients, it's time to get cooking. The process of cooking corned beef to tender perfection involves a few crucial steps. Our journey begins with a thorough rinse of the meat. This step is vital as it removes any excess brine, helping to balance out the saltiness of the corned beef. Once our meat is well rinsed, it's time to place it in a large pot. To this we'll add our carefully selected spices. The spices are the key to unlocking the corned beef's robust flavor profile. We're talking about a blend of mustard seeds, bay leaves, cloves, and peppercorns, amongst others, to create a symphony of flavors. Next, we'll be adding enough water to fully submerge the corned beef. This is not just any water, but a bath. A gentle caress that will carry all the flavors into the meat. Now we're ready for the magic to happen, we bring our pot to a boil. This initial high heat is like the starting gun of a race, it gets things moving, it starts to break down the tough fibers of the meat. But, and here's the trick, we don't keep it at this high temperature, instead we reduce the heat to a simmer. You see, corned beef is a bit like a sleeping baby, it prefers a gentle, soothing simmer to a vigorous boil. We're not rushing here. We're taking our time to allow the heat to slowly permeate through the meat, tenderizing it, and allowing the flavors of the spices to infuse deeply. How long does this take? Well, a good rule of thumb is to allow around 50 minutes of simmering per pound of meat. But don't get too caught up in the numbers, the real test is in the tenderness. When a fork can easily slide into the meat, that's when you know it's ready. Remember, patience is key. Slow and steady cooking will yield the tenderest corned beef. It's a labor of love, a culinary journey filled with anticipation. But I promise you, the end result is well worth the wait. It's a celebration of flavors that will dance on your palate, a testament to the art of slow cooking. After hours of slow simmering, your corned beef is now ready for the final steps. The aroma wafting from the pot is a tantalizing hint of the feast that awaits. But hold on, we're not quite done yet. This next part is crucial. First, you'll need to carefully remove the meat from the pot. It's going to be hot and it's going to be tender so handle with care. You can use a pair of large kitchen tongs or a slotted spoon to do this. Now, here's where your patience really pays off. Let the corned beef rest. Yes, you heard right. It may be hard to resist, but give it about 15 to 20 minutes. This allows the juices to redistribute throughout the meat, ensuring every bite is moist and flavorful. Now comes the moment of truth, slicing the meat. Remember, the secret to incredibly tender corned beef lies in how you slice it. You'll want to slice the meat against the grain. This shortens the muscle fibers and makes the beef easier to chew, giving it that melt-in-your-mouth texture we all love. And finally, to serve this masterpiece, traditional sides like cabbage and potatoes are a perfect match. They complement the rich salty flavor of the corned beef and complete the meal. And there you have it, the secret to incredibly tender corned beef. Enjoy!